I think the, the capital markets can be moral if um, some of the following sort of five points that I've got uh, could be addressed. Um, so more socially focused. Um, that means specifically investing in the type of things Mark was talking about, the new forms of social business that are emerging, where you can make a financial return, uh, but you're also prioritizing a social return. Secondly, um, if those investments are increasingly, as they would be, I think naturally, uh, more, more local and smaller scale. So instead of these faceless international flows and derivatives, nobody knows where they were, what they were doing, we'd have something like a Cambridge bank. We might have one within two years. Um, it's our city life, my social enterprise, our vision of local people being able to invest in the communities they live in or the causes they care about uh, securely at the moment for no financial return other than getting their capital back. But I think we can improve the range of returns depending on the type of investments we make. It could be a mixed portfolio. I want people to be able to see and feel and, and enjoy the things they're investing in uh, and, and feel satisfied by that. And one classic example, I think, is the, uh, the private finance initiative, PFI where this was a classically capital market funded uh, way of, of the government um, funding stuff like hospitals and schools and roads that they didn't want to put on the, private, uh, on the public sector balance sheet by getting private finances over 30 year horizons and the big, big returns to be made as well as big risks to be taken to be fair. But why can't we get local savers a slice of the action? Why can't our pensions be in? PFI related schemes because nobody else is investing in them at the moment. They're all suffering uh, from, from the credit crunch or the debt comeuppance. Um, you know, local reinventing of these type of schemes I think is going to be essential. Thirdly, really we do need to fully cost the returns or the, or the externalities of any investment. So we were looking for the positives, but we also need to price in all the negatives so people really know what they're buying and that needs to be measured better. Um, we want all businesses to be triple bottom line rather than the single bottom line purely profit maximizing ones I was talking about earlier. Um, and that means adding in social and environmental costs and benefits. I think then the capital markets will be much more naturally likely to fund the sort of things that encourage human flourishing. So that needs an alliance of regulators and far-sighted funders to use these techniques like social accounting, social return on investment, and Mark and others are engaged in that sort of world as we speak, thankfully. Um, fourthly, I want to see more lending by and to women. There's a wonderful example in Bangladesh of uh, subprime lending to very, very poor people who turn out to be astonishingly good repayers of, of their, their loans. And the reason it works, and Mohammed Yunus, who set this up, is a Nobel Prize winner for his pains, uh, is that he decided to lend almost exclusively to women and uh, only if they would form borrowing groups to, to back each other up and guarantee each other uh, and help each other out when one hit a problem. And this has been fantastically successful because of those two brilliant decisions he took, about 98% repayment rates, millions and millions lent, you know, tens and hundreds of millions now lent, and people coming out of poverty as a result of very small amounts of credit. So microfinance, that could be used in this country. Why don't we try it? It's been tried in some places, but it needs to be given a proper push. In Iceland, women are helping to rebuild the financial system, which has been decimated. And there are lots of articles in the national press about their values they're trying to bring to it. And just two or three, risk awareness. We won't invest in things we don't understand. Profit with principles, not just economic, but social and environmental impact. Emotional capital in due diligence uh, is the culture of the prospective investee company, uh, an asset or a liability. It's not just about tokenism, but it's about bringing the right values into the investment community and decisions we're making. Finally, a whole bunch of practical ideas like social stock markets, like microfinance locally, like community-based bonds, and tax in incentives for socializing investment. And as Christians, I think we need to take inspiration from great biblical principles of stewardship, the jubilee, the cap on inequality that come around every 50 years, um, limitations on excessive interest, and so on. All these positive examples I want to infect the mainstream financial system with uh, so the market itself can choose a better way. And that, I think, is professional culture as well as consumer culture. Um, if the right mechanisms can capture uh, value and pay for the social impact, positive and negative, of any investment activity, then I think there will be a flight to more healthy, biblically patterned, and dare I say it, a more moral pattern of conduct. For more information about the Veritas Forum, including additional recordings and a calendar of upcoming events, please visit our website at veritas.org.